Sagittarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. All right, Sag, what do you need to know about love? I hurt my finger pretty bad yesterday. And uh, bear with. <laughs> it's hard to shuffle. Okay, Sag. Oops, sorry. All right, Sag, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, well, these are general readings, so not going to resonate with all of you but if it does take a look in the description box below there's a link to my patreon if you want to watch extended videos all right i'm going to use a different thing hold up that's better uh, you can also purchase my videos via my website gentivitarot.com or if you join my channel each has its own perks but patreon would probably have the best price Sagittarius, what do you need to know about love? Oh. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, justice. This is what I like to see. This is when we're tarrowing with gas. Not the uh, overall vibe. Oh yeah, for once. Caused by, oh yeah, the sun. Hold on. What do you need to know right now? <sighs> Two of cups. We've got the lovers. I, 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 what is going on here? So the overall vibe, four of wands. That's harmony, celebration, love, wedding perhaps, uh, the sun, happiness, harmony. Look at them, looking at each other, looking at you, looking at me. Literally, all these three cards mean the same thing. It's just the uh, harmony and togetherness, communication, love is great. Tell me more about what's what do you need to know right now? There's just a couple of red flags with this person. I think that they're a little bit obsessive about something and it's boring to you but all the other things are great about this relationship but they're a little bit obsessive about something it could be that you're a little bit obsessive about something <sighs> let me see where this goes i feel like it's them but um Somebody's obsessive about the other person's past. My thoughts are the past is the past. Leave it there. Somebody's obsessive about uh, their other person's relationships. How many people they've been with. And it's a little bit boring. And it's in the past. So let's just leave it there. It doesn't matter whatever somebody did before you came along. It doesn't matter, does it? They didn't know about you or you didn't know about them, whatever. So it doesn't matter. So, but this person is obsessing. This relationship's really great. This obsessive behavior needs to stop because if it doesn't stop, this relationship's gonna end. This is a great relationship. The past is the past. Mm. 
very interesting. So we've got the we've got the star here. This is about just kind of going with the other cards around. Hold on, I need I need another hand free. The star with this, this is about confidence in yourself. I don't think the other person has that. And I think something has happened to the person who was obsessed that uh, makes them think that it's always going to turn out badly. So now this is just over the the two really great confident cards. This is this is hanging over it. So, there is an obsession about something from the past. What is it? What's the cards? What's this obsession about the past? about the past. I don't think that they believe or you believe whatever take it out it resonates this, this sort of thing is it really over the past be like is there a, still a friendship with the someone that you were in a relationship with in the past or, or that they were in a relationship with in the past. It's still not quite clear who this is about, to be honest. Uh, I, I feel like there's been messages seen from someone from the past. Secretly. <sighs> Snooping? Maybe not on purpose. Don't think that whoever looked at these messages, so if it was you, I don't think that you were snooping on purpose. If it was them, I, I, I think that they just saw a message by accident. I don't think that they were snooping on purpose. Is it really over? And it's become an obsession. Three of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. It's become an obsession. I, I could... This relationship's going to end if this obsession doesn't end. And it's a really great relationship. But somebody thinks the other person is hiding something. Secrets. Lies. What's coming up in the near future? Confusion. Choices, perhaps. Clarify, please. I feel like this is you. I think that you're seeing the red flags that they are. This is why it's been confusing. I think this is you and you're in a really great relationship with someone. I think that you've seen some red flags. You've seen some, you weren't snooping, but you've seen something that shocked you and you're like well what does it mean and it's become obsessive it's almost like you were kind of thinking about it before and this proved something to you is it really over and and you sort of thought something was going on before is it really over and then you've seen something
this is a choice now do you do you keep stressing about this do you keep having anxiety about this are they cheating are they doing you wrong are they messing with you are they hurting you or do you just let the relationship happen and enjoy it and let this go you're seeing red flags in this sense I would always say trust your instincts everything else is great about this relationship but I would say follow your instincts and if your instincts are screaming at you that this person is cheating I would say listen to those instincts It, it sort of just feels like you need some time. If this is like pain from your past that you've, you've been cheated on before. That's something that you need to work on so that you don't take it forwards. That pain so that you keep repeating it. I would say until you're sure what's going on and you can have a rational grown-up conversation with this person instead of being obsessive about it and, and aggressive and this is sort of saying you need to release your fears from from the, the past and rebalance yourself and then you can be happy but me, I kind of want to say your gut instincts are telling you this person's doing you wrong and listen. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Yeah, don't push don't chase don't fight this the the um, chariot in reverse the eight of wands in reverse I just feel like let it be. Trust your instincts, yes, but let it be. And um, take your focus off this so much. I mean, the outcome here is that you take a step back from this and, and heal what needs healing within yourself. I think that they're going to fight for this relationship. But it, it might be a good idea for you just to take a little step back. I'm going to take this into extended after I've read the outcome here. And I'm going to ask about them. How do they really feel about you? Are they cheating? Yes or no? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. sort of just feels like you just want to be in love and be happy with this person there are some conflicts within them i think that they're willing to fight for this relationship but what's what's that why are the five of wands here for them there are some conflicts within them um They don't want to not be, they don't want the past to not be part of their life, but they're not interested in it. 
I think that they, it's like they, they still want to have connections and friendships from the past, but as a, to any romantic interest towards it, like they're not interested. Pr please trust your instincts here. Trust your intuition. Your intuition saying they're cheating, then follow it, listen to it. But I don't know, I'm just a bunch, a lady with a bunch of cards, you know. I'm just well, listen to me. Listen to what you're saying to yourself inside. The personal issue reaches resolution. Well, that's good. You're gonna figure this out. And your love lyric for the day is. Ooh, daddy, you're a fool to cry. You're a fool to cry. And it makes me wonder why. Rolling Stones, fool to cry total tune. I'm going to take this into extended. Thanks for joining me. See you later.